The national women's under-17 team defeated the Barbies Football Association's under-13 male team when they clashed in the ATC tournament organized by the Guyana Football Federation. Julissa Hines reports. The Guyana Football Federation Boys Under-13 Academy Training Center tournament continued on Sunday where the guest team, the National Under-17 Girls, scored a 1-0 win against the Barbies Football Association. The game was held at the All Saints ground. Jalid Trim, who scored in the second segment, expressed these sentiments and had this advice for girls who are interested in football. It was an um, honor, you know, it was an awesome feeling, you know, as um, you know, once you score a goal, it just pushes you to go more, give it your best, you know, once score, you know. As a footballer, as a striker, you know you're always on to score. Yeah. My advice would be to um, ask for females, not only females, um, but mostly the girls, young girls, to you know, just keep pushing. Never give up in football. Once you love football, just you know, give it your best. Never give up. Coach Akila Costello of the under-17 Lady Jags national football team disclosed these details about the team's preparation for the CONCACAF under-17 women's championship. Basically, today's win is just um part of our preparation or the game rather today's game rather was part of is part of our um, preparation for this team um, since we have just qualified for the um, next round in the CONCACAF women's um, tournament um, we are grateful for the opportunity to play in such a tournament so that um, we could uh, continue with preparation going into this next leg. Coach Costello then encouraged girls to get involved in football. Just start playing. Just start playing. I can't um, guarantee you that um, you would love the game unless you start playing. Once you start playing the game of football, right, and you start learning the, about the different aspects of the game and so forth, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure young girls would enjoy it. Um, I think parents could also play a, a vital role in encouraging girls to come out and play. Um, for this group, um, we're trying to see how much we could move around the different regions across Guyana to have girls see this bunch play, right? And see that women can actually play football against, not, not, only, not only among women, but even with men, right? So it's just, just for them to start playing. And especially at an early age, I mean, it would be very good for them. Mr. Dennis Adams, Technical Development Officer of the Burbies Football Association, Speaking to this newscast, noted these details. This game was a very, very challenging game for us in the sense that it's our final game and we were really looking for a win, probably to go to the next round. But unfortunately, it didn't go that way. But we're still happy, the kids are happy. We had fun. Um, they're now developing. They got a lot of way. This is just on the third team. We got a lot of way to go. And um, it's very encouraging to see them come from all from Oriala, from Skelton, from West Barbies, and Barbies here. It was commendable. We are training every weekend, and as long as you um, you have the time, you could just come to Scott School Ground here, and um, the staff or the coaches would, um, you know, put it put you together in a group and uh, and start you off in your. Um, football journey. Additionally, Mr. Adams went on to highlight the importance of practice. You got to come and get accustomed to the ball and training is so so important and because if you don't come and learn the different laws and principles and technique um, it would be at a disadvantage. So you have to come and be a part of and we train you to be uh, your full potential. The Guyana girls under 17 national team recently finished as the best ranked second place team among three groups in the competition at the IMG Academy in Florida, qualifying them for the 2022 CONCACAF Women's Under 17 Championship. Reporting for Channel 8 Sports, I am Jalissa Hines.